Okay guys, this is a computer I've been working on. It's an old socket 775 computer. What this video is about is how to avoid the genuine validation update on Windows 7. Can't do a screen recording so because this is a fresh install of Windows 7. What you've got what you've got to do is go down to start. Type in updates in the search bar. Um, and if you go to here, which is turn automatic updating on or off. Can you see that? You click on that first. Now we have to do these settings. Uh, mine is already set. Which is check for updates, but let me choose whether to download or install them. That is the setting you want. Okay, so I'll just switch that off a sec. Now, type in updates again down here. And we go and go to the top option, which is check for updates. And I'm just going to let it check. Now, this will take a while, so I'm going to hit pause. And when it's found the updates, then we can carry on with the video. Yeah, it's found update, so what you got to do is go on here and it gives you a long list of updates. Now, the one we want to avoid is the KB971033 update. It's usually a th down the bottom of the list somewhere. Um, and there it is, right there. And what you have to do is untick the box. This is the one we don't want. And to avoid these updates in the future, what we have to do is right click them, hide, update. And it will grey out. The next time you go on there, you won't see that. We want to hide, I'm going to hide that one too, and that one. It's that easy as you can see now they're greyed out and whenever Windows updates it's up to you whether you install them or not and these ones will not update so you will not have that genuine validation update on your computer and it's not going to update without you clicking on it manually that is all you have to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and click OK. Um, I'm not going to bother with the optional updates. Now I've unchecked the boxes and hidden them, I'm going to go ahead and let it install. It's on the last update now, as you can see. Fingers crossed, it doesn't fail. Hmm. One failed update. Oh, it's only one. Okay, I'm going to click on restart. So you can see it's installing the updates during the restart there. Okay, I'm just going to hit enter. I'm going to reduce that 30 seconds, wherever it is, to about 10 seconds. S speed up the boot time and save me hitting enter. Sorry this has taken so long to load of the desktop. Like I said, it's an old computer. As you can see, the desktop's loaded, it's not black and there's no message in the corner 
telling me this copy of Windows is not genuine. So remember though, every time you manually update, always check to make sure that KB971033 is not there. Um, it should stay hidden but it's always good to check before you do anything. Thanks for watching. Over and out.